In this video, let's talk about the naming conventions. Now, if you see the code which we have written till now, somewhere I was using capital letters, I was using small letters, when to use what? And then what if you want to join two words? How will you make it more readable? Now that's where Java says it follows a naming convention of camel casing. So basically it uses camel casing. Now what camel casing means, or let's talk about in general, how do we name a classes? Now whenever you create a class, a class name should start with a capital letter. So when you talk about class, it should start with a capital letter. letter. Example, if you want to create a class called calculator, the C should be capital. Now on the other hand, if you talk about variables, or methods. So for variable and methods, what you will follow is, uh, you will start with a small letter. Example, if your variable name can be marks, the variable uh, method name can be show. So it will always start with small. Class, capital, variable, method, small. In fact, we also have a concept of interfaces, which we'll discuss later. So if we talk about classes and interface, we'll have to make it capital. Uh, let's say interface is variable. So basically, this is the convention which, which we follow. Class interface, we have capital letters. Variable methods, we have small letters. We also have a concept of constants, which we have talked about. Uh, so when you talk about constants, it will have a capital, but all capital. Example, if you talk about a value of pi, if you talk about a constant of brand, so it doesn't matter what your constant is, so you can have all capital here. Now, why do we do this? We do this just to see and understand what could be the thing which you are doing. Example, if you say, if you see this type of things, you can guess, hey, it can be a class or interface. If you look at this, you know this is a variable. This is a variable. If you look at this, you know this is a method. And when you look at this, this you know this are, these are constants. It makes your code much more readable. And that's important, right? It's very easy to write a code which works. It's difficult to write a code which anyone can read. And that's why you should follow this convention. So this is how you use the naming convention. But what if you have a word which, which has two letters? Example, if you talk about show my marks, if I want to do this, so you have to say show my marks, because if you say show my marks, it is actually a bit difficult to read, right? So what you can do is every time you combine words, make sure that the first letter of the second word or the first letter make it capital. It makes it much more readable compared to small letters. Now, this is what camel kissing means. You know, we have camel, so it goes up and down. So we have uh, small letters, then we have in between, we have capital, small, again, we have capital. So this is camel kissing. Now, apart from this, there are different languages which follow snake kissing rule where we use underscores. Example, in some languages, they follow snake casing, they use underscore. And people who jump between different languages, they get this tendency of using underscore. So again, Java will not give you any error, but if you follow the Java pattern, Java developers will not like this. So if you're writing a code where you have a Java team or everyone works on Java, try to follow camel casing. And, uh, but again, it will not give you error. It perfectly works, underscore works in the names, but that's what we follow. We follow camel casing here, not snake casing, yeah. Uh, if you have the class name, which is, again, uh, I want to say my data as a class. So you can say M is capital because that's a class name. Now I will give you, I will show you some names and you have to guess what those are. Example, if I say age, that's variable, right? Okay. Uh, what if I say data? What is this? This is a constant because everything is capital. Okay. Uh, yeah, in, in terms of constant, if you want to say my data, which is a constant, you have to use my data. But again, everything is capital, right? So at this point, you can use underscore just to differentiate this. And uh, again, these are the good practices which I'm showing you. How about this? If I use something like human, but I use a round bracket, any guess? Yeah, that's a constructor. Why is it a constructor? It's because the first is capital. That means it represents a class name. And we also have a round bracket, method like something. So that's a constructor. So this is a naming convention which we follow and try to use good names for your variables, your classes, your methods, so that it will be easy for others to read.